Hello and welcome to another episode of Waffle TV. My name is Jimmy and we are here with some of the cast of Ada. Uh, hello guys, how are we doing today? Yeah, good. Hi. It's sunny for once. I Remember, know, it's thank amazing. goodness. We'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> uh, amazing. So, uh, would you like to tell us just a wee bit about what Ada is? Sure. Um, so, Ada is the story of Ada Lovelace, um, who was the daughter of the poet Lord Byron and then grew to be the world's first computer programmer. Mm -hmm. But no one really knows who she is. Um, yeah. Yeah, she lived in the 1800s, so before the first computer was ever built, but she worked with Charles Babbage on something called the analytical engine, which was later deemed to turn complete, so it would have been a computer had they managed to build it. Yeah, and she ended up writing the first program for it, so she is technically the world's first computer programmer, which is what the show's all about, her life and like yeah. her work and questioning her legacy and stuff like that. Amazing, so. amazing. And then can you guys tell us, because it was a pretty interesting process that you had in coming yeah. up with the show, because obviously it's completely original. Do you want to tell us just a wee bit about how it all went? Yeah, so um, Mel, our director, Mel Phillips, came up with the idea. Like, She's a mathematics student, graduated right, okay. graduated with a first, guys, so Here she knows go. her <laughs> math. Um, but yeah, she came up with the idea and she really wanted to do a show. And so we had this audition process where we do like, it was sort of like a devising yeah. workshop, wasn't it? And yeah, like, it was, we did like little improvised scenes and uh, yeah, just had to sort of like come up with, for example, like we had to take a prop, like a calculator and make a scene with it. And yeah. So she was looking for like sort of like creative people and people that could work together in an ensemble and then we spent three weeks in June, there's seven of us in the cast, yeah. all sort of like devising, we did, re Mel did a lot of research into it and then gave us the sources and kind of was like what do you guys find interesting about it, which is what I really enjoyed because yeah. everything in the show is what we all as a group feel are like the most interesting aspects yeah. or things we want people to know, so Amazing. it's been really sweet. Yeah. Yeah, so Oh. Yeah, no, no, so even on the days when like we maybe didn't uh, create any scenes that ended up in the show, we ended up having these really intense conversations yeah. about like what Ada's life was like and what are the important parts that we found interesting that we want to show people and what we think her legacy is. Although we like to leave the audience to decide mm. what they think her legacy should be. Exactly, because she had a bit of a controversial life t sort of towards the end, didn't yeah. she? Um, but you do kind of touch on that as mm. well, which is great that you see kind of both sides. Yeah, it's a pretty sad story. Like, yeah. No spoilers, guys. But, <laughs> I mean, she does die. Yeah. Um, but it is well, she, she'll probably die yeah, eventually. She, probably, she lived I in mean, 1800s. It's been 200 <laughs> years, yeah. so that'd be a little bit boring. She'd be a pretty, pretty old lady. Pretty old lady yeah. yeah, but no, it is really sad because, you know, obviously things didn't go the way they were supposed to otherwise you know the computer would have been invented a long time before Alan Turing and everything like that so it is really sad at the end of her life mm -hmm. like she sort of went a bit off the rails and we do touch on that at the end of the show which yeah. is not nice but it has to be done so. amazing and how have you found it kind of having the mix of sort of physical theater as well as kind of the straight informative parts as well um it's been a lot of fun um I, I've always loved doing physical theater and I think yeah. it's it's sort of uh, throughout the rehearsal process we just sort of we just happen to create a mix of different kinds of scenes, mm -hmm. like more just dialogue and then more physical theater. And we had the entire tech team with us the entire time of rehearsals. Yeah. And so they were improvising and devising along with us of like what the tech would become yeah. and all the projection mm -hmm. and the video and the sound. It is really good as a performer, I think it's nice, especially somewhere like Fringe to have a show where you've got all those different aspects, technical, like we just wanted to be ambitious as possible mm -hmm. with it. And I feel like we've really done that. I mean, I've got a few bruises, but uh, <laughs> that's Fringe guys. It's all worth it. <laughs> Amazing. And how have the audiences been finding it so far? Yeah, great. I think like I'm I'm really pleased with it because you know it's always going to get like a, a re like a different reaction from every member because everyone responds to Ada's story differently. But that's sort of what we wanted. We wanted people to not only know who she was but to also see what part of her life interested them most. Seen a few people crying in the audience at the end. Wow. So it's bring your tissues, guys. That's what you want, really. <laughs> Amazing. Fantastic. And where and when can we find Ada? So we're on at 3 p.m. every day except Wednesdays at Bedlam Theatre, which is the massive church with the red doors. So. Excellent stuff, right? Get your tickets now. Thank you so much. Guys, Thank that's you. been absolutely great. This has been another episode of Waffle TV, sponsored by Boomers.